Hey guys, so I'm going to show you guys how to set up mining for Raptorium. So, real quick, first you go to Raptorium. I'm going to skip one of the steps. You have to download a wallet and a CPU miner, and I apologize for the background noise. I'm going to try to speak as loud as I can. As you see, these things are mining, um, the GPUs are mining, so the fans are on max speed right now. Uh, download download the wallet first, right? Once you get the, uh, find the right wallet for you, for mine to be Raptorium uh, Windows 64 zip, download it, extract it, open it up, and then I'll, I'll add another video um, after this where it will show you how to uh, get the address so you can send your money to your account. So for now, download that. I'm going to close it. But the actual setup, right? So what you're going to have to download is go to download CPU miner. Uh, the newest version, 1.2.3 as of today, October 26. So go down for mine. I'm running it on Windows, so Windows.7Z. I'm going to click that. It's downloading right here. Uh, while we're doing that, we also need to go and download Zip7, right, so we can extract it. Uh, for mine, I'll run, there's a beta, and then there's an older version from two years ago. I'll run the older version for 64 bit. I'll download that. Okay, so now all of them are done downloading. I'll go to my download file, so I'll go back, file, um, download, we're going to install 7Z. So that's installed, it's closed. So now that we have 7Z, you can right click the CPU miner that you just downloaded, and then go to 7Z, and then extract here. Now you have that extracted here. Um, let me right click this, group by, I'm not going to group by anything, none. There we go. I got some nice hash right here. I'm going to delete that to clear it up. Delete. Right. So we just uh, this file we just extracted here. Now you open this up. You go to config. Um, right click open with. You go to notepad. That's how you can go in and edit. Okay. So now that you're here, there are three things you need to, to fix. This is already fixed for me, I guess. Uh, so US flock pool. This is where we're mining to, and then this is just the port, and you can get that by if you Google it. For this one, it's already set there, but if you uh, search up flock pool, and then you can just go to flock pool, and then once you go to right here, you can pick whichever server. Find the one closest to you. I'm in the U.S., so Midwest, uh, Central right here, St. Louis, Missouri, so pick that one, and then uh, down here, pick the port, right? So we'll go back to the notepad, that's where these two are. Next you got the address right here. This is your mining address. What I'm going to do with that mining address is I have my email. I've already set up my address. I'll show you in a different video how to set that up. But I'll go over here to the address where it goes to dot worker. I'll change this right to the address and then the worker name. I'm going to edit this to, I'll call this AMD1. Since I have four machines right here all running Ryzen. Uh, I'll call it AMD1234. And then down here, it's asking you for what kind of tune you want. So for me, it'll be a full tune, but then there, there are full tunes. Um, down here, there are, uh, if you want to do stress tests, if you don't want tune, or if you want to force tune. I haven't figured out to like force the configuration on this yet. So I'm going to do a full tune, which for my other PC out there, for my i9 uh, 10850 CPU, it's taken two hours. Sorry, 222 minutes, so almost 24 hours to tune. But the better you tune it, the more uh, it will stabilize and not fluctuate. Since mining Raptorium with CPU is fairly new, we don't really know what setting is correct yet, as opposed to uh, mining Ethereum, right? All of my GPUs are mining Ethereum, as you can see. They're at an equilibrium where it's under, uh, you know, I've, uh, I've overclocked it under Volta, I got fan running at a certain speed, so they're all perfectly tuned, but for this, they don't know yet, so when you fully tune, it runs it under different um, different settings to see what's the best settings to run in the long term. So for full tune right here, I'm going to change the false to true. I don't like cats, so true. And then all we got to do is close it, and it will ask to save, we'll save it, and then I'll open up that same file that, uh, oh sorry, the file down here, CPU miner. I'm going to run it as administrator. So I'll run it now. And then uh, it can't find the tuned config. 
wait, just give it a second. Hey guys, so there was a little cut right there. What happened was that when I loaded, it couldn't reach the huge form. So it told me to uh, restart it. I restarted my computer. Um, I'm gonna run it again as admin. So here we go, run it as admin. I noticed that it works, so I close it right here. Huge pages uh, set up successfully. So what this is doing is it's configuring for 222 minutes, which is pretty much four hours. Uh, this will, this configuration will help it get to as close to optimal as possible right now. So I'm just going to leave it in the background. One thing that they mentioned with this one in particular is when you run it, close down all the programs you're not using to ensure complete efficiency right now. One thing I'm not going to do is I'm not going to close down my GPU mining because it, it needs to be realistic, right? If I'm going to mine with both CPU and GPU, make sure when you're tuning, keep your GPU running. Because if you turn your GPU off, power supply may be different, heating and cooling may be different. So make sure you keep it as if you're going to keep this thing running 24-7. Now as you can see right here, it's going to config for three hours. So I got more CPU, CPU I got to set up right now. I got four Ryzen's uh, 5 3500 running up here. I got a, an i9-10850 uh, running over there. So these two are tuning right now, full tune for uh, 222 minutes. I just want to see how that works. And then for these three, I already have it running. So I'm going to keep it mining overnight, right? I just plugged it in here and I'm gonna see. So this one, this is what it will look like once it's fully running. You can see the hash rate. Um, this is the the hash rate, share rate, and then there's an average rate. My eyes are kind of tired right now. Uh, but this is the rate right now that it's mining. All three of these are mining. And then the other thing you can do is come over here. So I'll show it on here. Uh, the address I mentioned earlier. So you can go to the address right here. Uh, and what you can do is you can label, click, to, um, you can type the label if you want to, amount, and then once you hit request payment, they'll pop up uh, an address for you. That's where you're going to receive. Uh, since I already have it, I'm gonna, not going to click it again. I can just double click this and I get the address, right? So you can wrap this address. And that's the address you want to drop in. Remember when I mentioned, um, I'll open this up right here, when I mentioned going into your minor configs right here. So config, edit. Common address, flock pool right here. This is the address you want to put it into, right? Just drop that link in there. And then uh, the other thing you can do with that address is if you go into flock pool website, you can actually drop the address here and you can search it. And then it tells you like what your hash rates are, what are the name of them. So as you can see right here, this worker name. Uh, the worker name is gone because I uh, that was running on 1.1.9. I shut it down. Uh, it's this one right here. It's tuning, so it it's not reading it yet. And then AMD one. Remember we just set it up over there. It's also tuning. These are the three AMD two, three, and four. They're running hash rate right now 500, 500, 600, and then the hash rate average right here is 900. Right. And then once this guy's done tuning, uh, it will show up as uh, i9 Omen. And then AMD one, once it's done tuning over here, it'll show up too. So actually, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a full tune, and I'm gonna leave that to run, and then I'll do like just a regular tune. The the other three I just did a regular 80 minutes tune. I'm gonna see what the difference of the two are. But for now, since I haven't done a full tune, four hours tune yet, I'm gonna leave those two just to run overnight to see how efficient it is actually, because I don't want to do a four hours tune if it's not that efficient. Um, but yeah, guys, so that's. Uh, Raptorium uh, mining, CPU mining, as you can see, setup was extremely quick. Now, tuning takes a while, uh, but yeah, check it out. The uh, Not a lot of people mining it right now more than a month ago, and a month ago was a lot more than a month before, but as you've seen, so over here, I'll show it to you. As you've seen with like Ethereum and everything else, once people start mining, it goes up, so we can go back to... Mining. This one has a calculator. Right over here. So on here you can see the price of Raptorium. 
um, for the last seven days. And then you can see right here, this is the down here. This is the difficulty for the last six months, as you can see in September. The difficulty is 0.2, and now it's up to 1.7, right? It's going up drastically higher, and it will continue to go up, meaning more people mine, harder it is for you, because you're sharing the pie. Um, so right now, yeah, the, the way I showed it to you is going through flock pool, and as you can see, uh, our plant and flock pool are like the top two. They're 33% uh, of the whole pool, and this one's 33.7%. So they're the top two, very convenient. They do take a 1.5% fee, uh, but it, so far it seems very convenient. So uh, as I said, you can go back here, and then I can do a refresh. And it pays out every two days, I think. I'll continue to update as I uh, get more information on this. But uh, yeah, if you have any questions, drop down below. Uh, once again, shout out to Avon E. Thanks for telling me uh, rep about Raptorium. I, I've been GPU mining for a year now. Um, and right now, my machines have pretty much fully uh, paid back, uh, recovered what I invested. And they're still GPU mining. So uh, no harm in running CPU as well. If, uh, if it works, so I'm just running it. But any questions, drop it down below. I'll keep you guys updated. Thanks for watching, guys.